All right, welcome MUCT 105L, Intro to Theory Ear Training Lab class. This is the uh, remote lecture uh, for week three. Okay, um, for this remote lecture, I'm going to do it different than last time. I'm not going to explain any homework or anything. I think you uh, uh, guys figured that out pretty well uh, last week. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to do some uh, Berkowitz examples uh, uh, following on from what we learned last Friday, as well as some Kazez rhythm examples. So uh, we'll begin. I'm going to hit uh, C major on the piano. Let's sing the scale ascending and descending together to get warmed up. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. All right, if you want to run it a couple more times, if you find yourself in need of some more warm-up, uh, just pull the slider back on the video, and uh, you can do it as many times as you like. Okay, first thing we're going to do, open up your Berkowitz sight singing book to page 7. All right, we sang on Friday, during Friday's class, we sang up to number 11. We also uh, analyzed these to see uh, which gestures they were using. So if we look down at number 12, number 12, we see the two sharps in the key signature signifying key of D major. Let's go ahead and get the key of D major here. And as we can see, if we're looking, uh, analyzing the piece of music, we see the key signature, the time signature, 2-4 time. We see uh, the, the melodic gestures here. We have do, re, mi, fa, sol, just a straight five step up. Then sol, fa, sol, baby step down, la, sol, fa, sol, baby step up, and then a baby step down. And then fa, mi, re, do, ti is a five step down. Okay, these are all based on... Uh, very simple, very basic sets of melodic gestures, and you can see that in the handbook. Now, there are two things uh, important here related to dynamics. There are two dynamic levels here. Uh, there is forte, and then there is piano. The second thing uh, to keep in mind, as you can see there in the middle of page 7, it says each of the next four melody melodies is built in two phrases. So scan the melody for the peak of the phrase. Okay, so you can see in the first half, the forte half, that it's a four bar phrase, it's uh, indicated by the tie, and uh, the, D, the uh, B or la is the top of that phrase, whereas in the second part it's a, kind, it's a little bit of a mirror image, it's not an exact mirror image, but you can see it's forte and uh, an arch form like this, and the second half is piano and a reverse arch form like this, going down to T and then eventually coming back, undulating a few times and coming back to Do. Okay, so let's go ahead and sing this one. But it's very important to analyze its form so that we can uh, be ready for anything it throws at us. Here we go. One and two and one and two. Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Fa, Sol, La, Sol, Fa, Sol. Fa, Mi, Re, Do, Ti, Do, Re, Mi, Re, Do. All right. Moving on to number 13. We're in bass clef, key of B-flat major. We see we have another two-phrase form. The first two and the second two. The first two, as you can see, is... Uh, featured mainly by descending motion, not quite completely scale-wise, but with one, the, with the uh, um, exception of one little baby step up, it's pretty much uh, scale all the way down. And the second half is nothing more but the major scale going up with some rhythm. Okay, so that makes it a lot more simplified. Let's get B-flat major. <laughs> All right, one, two, and three, and four. Do, ti, la, sol, la, sol, fa, mi, re. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Okay, see, it's just 
down the valley, up the mountain. All right, number 14, key of E flat major. Okay, we see uh, we have pretty much what amounts to um, a, a piece of music that's just uh, comprised of five steps and three steps. Five step up, three step down, five step up, five step down, three step up, three step down. Okay, just two melodic, or just two gestures uh, in here. So let's go ahead and sing this one beginning on Do in E flat major. <laughs> One and two and three, do do re mi fa so fa mi re re mi fa so la so fa mi re do ti do re mi re do. And we'll do one more this Allegro de Siso um, in D major. Um, it says cut time, but we'll go ahead for now and just do it in 4-4. Four, four. Take a quick look at the gestures. It's uh, pretty much um, a couple of three step ups, three steps up, some baby steps up, and uh, three steps down, and that's pretty much the whole thing. We'll do it in a, in a moderate four. One and two and three and four. Do, do, re, mi, mi, fa, so, la, so, fa, so, fa, mi, fa, mi, re. Do, do, re, mi, mi, fa, so, la. with all of these things. Um, if you want to run any of these again, or if you weren't really sure about something, or if you messed up, um, you always uh, pull it back, rewind a little bit, and sing along with me on any one of these. Okay, that's all we're going to do with the Berkowitz for right now. I want to, I want to save the next uh, sections for class next Friday. Uh, pull out the Kazez book, if you would, please. Your Kazez rhythm reading book. And... Get to page 14. Page 14, you may recall from last Friday's lecture, um, we skipped most of the examples on page 14 so that we could get to the double subdivision with the 16th notes before, uh, before class was over. So let's go ahead and make sure we get back into those because it's dealing with whole notes and things like that. We want to make sure that we're uh, very clear um, about uh, what those are rhythmically, and then we'll go do some 16th note exercises as well. Page 14, number 7. All right. This is in 3. Watch the dynamic changes. There are many of them. Watch the rests. Two measures, and we're in. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T off. All right, the whole note and the whole note rest. We talked about this actually on the very first Friday, the first um, class meeting, about the difference between the whole note and the whole rest. But just to review, remember the whole rest looks like a hole in that line, something you could step and twist your ankle on, as opposed to the half note sitting on the line looking like a hat. Okay, the whole note, of course, is just a hollow note with no stem. And we'll receive, in, the case, in this case, in 4-4 four, four time, four beats. Okay, the preparatory drill is super easy. Let's do it real fast. One, two, three, four. T, 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 T. 
T T rest 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 piece of cake okay let's do number nine uh, this is uh, fairly simple as well but do not forget please to do the dynamics one two ready go T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T T off. All right. Now we're going to skip a page because we did the the exercises on page fifteen already, and go over to page sixteen, where we will. Uh, jump back into a couple examples, a couple of examples of sixteenth notes. We did the preparatory drill on number fourteen already. Again, more reminders. More reminders. If you see the beat divided, um, there's a special word. Remember the magic word. Let's remember it again. Subdivision. Subdivision is the key. Okay. So if we're in a meter, say such as 3-4, where the quarter note receives the beat. We have uh, two levels of subdivision that we're going to talk about right now. There's the single level of subdivision, or single subdivision, where we're just dividing the beat simply into half. T, 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 T. In that case, you subdivide at the first level. One and two and three and T, 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 T. But in the case of sixteenth notes, where the quarter note receives the unit of the beat, we are at the double subdivision because we are dividing the beat in half and then in half again. And so we have the quarter note, we, beat, we divided it to half into the eighth note, and then divided it again into the sixteenth note. This is the double subdivision. So the subdivision must be one e and a two e and a three e and a t t e t e t e t e. Okay. It's good to do the single subdivision where it's appropriate, but again, if you do the single subdivision in three four, when there are sixteenth notes present, one and two and three and, there's still nothing to tell you. There's one and two and three and. There's still nothing to tell you where these go. You could go. One and two and T T T T T T T T T T and there would be nothing to tell if you were right or wrong. But here T T T T T T T T T tells you exactly where to place those beats. Okay, it's very important. Subdivision is the most important rhythmic concept. Let's do fourteen again, just to get that. Don't worry about the speech cues. Here we go. I'll give you two subdivided measures. One e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a t t ticky 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 t ticky 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 t. Good. Now let's go to number fifteen and put it into practice. Now you should be careful in number fifteen, and this is a, a very common trick in rhythm. You're probably going to be concentrating on the 16th notes as well you should, thinking of those double subdivisions. But while you're doing that, please do not forget the long notes, especially ties across the bar line. So you have to be very careful. In music, we usually don't make a mistake at the hardest part, where the most technique is. We usually make the, the mistake either before or after that, because we're focusing so much on one section and not concentrating enough on what we would consider to be easy. All right, let's try it. Two subdivided measures and we're in. One and two e and a one e and a two e and t tiki 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 t t tiki 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 t t t t t t t Ticky 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 tee 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 ticky 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 tee 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 ticky 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 tee. All right, and we'll do one more number sixteen. 
We'll do this in 4-4 four, four time, or as uh, the Kazez tells you, common time, the C. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about uh, the, the interesting symbols and stuff we use that they used to use uh, for time signatures later. Uh, make sure that you open up your Kazez book flat to show both pages because uh, 16 is both on the left, leading on to the right page. All right, this is in 4-4 four, four time, so I'm going to give you one subdivided measure, and then we'll be in. 1e e and a 2e e and a 3e e and a 4e e and t ticky ticky t ticky ticky t t t t t t ticky ticky t ticky ticky t t t ticky ticky t t t t t ticky ticky t Ticky 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 tee. Tee ticky ticky tee tee ticky ticky tee. Tee 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 tee. Tee tee ticky ticky tee. Ticky 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 tee. Off. All right, so that's all we're going to do for this remote lecture. Um, We'll uh, continue on uh, uh, with what we've been uh, doing and um, introduce some more uh, skills and gestures and rhythmic uh, concepts uh, when we meet again on Friday. See you then.